Peace, Infinite Waters diving deep once again. How to protect yourself as an empath. I received various questions with the same theme. I wake up today, I get an email, someone from Australia. I say that's a sign. How you doing, mate? I always wanted to say that. <laughs> they wrote, they have gone through a super awakening, but at the same time, they feel intense anxiety. They can pick up the energy all around them. They're not sure if it's due to their lifestyle before. Let me share with you what's helped me along my journey. It's been a trip. I'm still traveling. I'm still here. A life check. When we talk of the empath, these are individuals who use intuition as a filter to experience and interact with the world around them. You walk into a large room and you can pick up the energy. Large crowds. And I say all of us are psychic to various different degrees. It doesn't make me different that I can pick up energy. <laughs> now it gives me more responsibility. It happens when we are becoming more aware because now we are tuning more into the truth, which is we are all connected. There is a reason why a lot of people want to stay desensitized. They want to stay separated because the moment they feel the energy all around them, now they have a connection. What does a connection mean? A responsibility. I say it starts with your environment. Placing yourself in an environment which complements your own energy does wonders. Many times we place ourselves in a workplace, we're not happy there. How much do you value your inner harmony? Right now, I love what I'm doing. The reason why I became a psychologist and counselor was because I was a nervous wreck. <laughs> so I had to dive deep right into the toolkit and Many times we don't see what is around our immediate environment. Is there a TV in the background? Because we are absorbing that energy. We are now becoming a sponge, sponge people. The diet, I have seen that eating a more plant-based diet has done wonders for me. Because a lot of the animals which are being butchered, pumped full of all kinds of synthetic hormones. We are taking on board their fear. So we have to look and become aware of what we are eating and what we are drinking. Are we just staying in one position in our room, surfing on Facebook? That's me sometimes, until I realize, Ralph, get out of the house. Go and skate, because the more you move into your body, the more you free yourself. You stop overthinking. Now, you are not absorbing the energy. More so, you are now creating more amazing energy. Now, with the time we are living in, Many empaths, first of all, I say look at the word. When you call yourself an empath, now you are justifying why you feel this way. You've given yourself a label. I say I am an infinite being, but I totally know what you are going through because I am sensitive. At the same time, I see this as a wonderful strength. Because 
when you are receptive to the energy around you, now you can say, ah, oh, I get it now. What do I really want to do? It starts with surrounding yourself with people that love you. Because if we are in an environment where people are not resonating on the same frequency as ourselves, we start absorbing their energy. It's not a matter of, is it good or bad? It's a question of how is it serving you? I say, feel, don't become. A lot of the times people are talking away. Yeah, you know, I went here. What are you doing? Silent. You're just listening. You're just absorbing. You are becoming a sponge. If you are an empath, we have to become more expressive. Don't just absorb people's chit chatter, <laughs> what I call the emotional drive by. People tell you their whole life story, and guess what? They don't even ask you one, not even one. But it's a choice where we place ourselves in life. That's what I discovered. And that's why now I am loving life more than ever. I say, set energetic boundaries. A lot of us, we are afraid to say no. <laughs> no is not negative. It is assertive. It is knowing what you want. More so, I say, take a moment to look within yourself because many times we might blame our environment for making us feel a certain way. But also, we have to see if there are still unresolved issues within ourselves we have to deal with because everyone we interact with is a mirror reflecting back to us what we need to work on. So I have seen there is so much you can do to protect yourself, more so to heal yourself. I say you can't please everyone. Look, I put myself out here. Am I concerned with what you think? No. I used to be, but I tapped into the secret. It is none of my business what anybody thinks of me. Because how people feel is a reflection of their experience, not yours. So I keep it moving more so I connect with those who remind me who I am. Daily meditation. Every single day, I am spending an hour minimum, minimum in nature just to harmonize mindfulness meditation, breathing deep from the base of my spine. And I look up to the sky. I say, can I get a hello there? You just relax. You see that the body is the subconscious mind. More so, whatever you focus on grows. We have to ask ourselves, where are we placing our attention? Because a lot of us who are sponge people, we place our attention on what is not serving us. Now, I place my attention on what I love and it has done wonders. And just remind yourself, Everyone you meet is there teaching you more about yourself. But nobody can come into your consciousness, which is your awareness, without an invitation. Because all the power lies within ourselves. So what's freed me is taking 100% responsibility for your internal condition. Once you do that, now you liberate yourself. 
So there you have it. Enjoy yourself. I always say, at the end of the day, the only thing that matters is who had the most fun. We are here, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy, peace.